Welcome to the CCH Access video series. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Install and Update Manager application. After opening Install and Update Manager, notice the four options in the left pane. Install, Update, Preferences, and Developer Tools. On the Install section, you will see your Access products that you are licensed for, their current state of installation, their available release version, and their installed release for your currently installed products. If you already have an Access product installed, you can click on Update to check for new product updates. On Preferences, you can schedule your updates to automatically check for new releases. Plus, you can select the download location for the files. For those who are licensed for developer tools, you can access the integration platform kits to install. Back on the Install page, you may select to install all of your licensed products by selecting the checkbox at the top of the list. Or you can clear the checkbox and select any combination of products. For this demonstration, we will install Tax. Before installing, make sure that all CCH Access programs and Microsoft Word and Outlook are closed. When installing Tax, Correspondence Manager is also installed. If you are licensed for Data Scan, it will automatically install with the Tax installation. After downloading your products, the installation wizard displays. Follow the steps in the wizard to complete the installation. When the installation is complete, you may choose to open the Access Dashboard. After clicking Finish, you will see that your products are installed. You can also download the installation files to install later. To do this, select the product that you want to download, then click Download. Once complete, click on the Download folder to view the installation file. You can click View Past Downloads to view previously downloaded installation files that have not yet been installed. This screen displays a history of your downloaded files that are not installed and gives you the option to delete the files. To return to the Install screen, click Licensed Products. Also on the menu bar are the Uninstall and Repair buttons which should only be used if directed by customer support. 